cooking up, cooking some rough beets in the kitchen. I don't know what I'm doing. We wanted to start something for our own because creative freedom on labels is it's a difficult thing, you know. It's not that on every label you have creative freedom and that's where we stand for because we're doing such a experimental things and we want to experiment with different styles and we thought the best thing is to have our own label, to do a really own thing. Also because I'm producing for like 11, 12 years, and there was a point in my career where I said, yeah, I don't need anyone to to say like, ah, you can't release this, because that puts me really in a, a creative space I don't want to be, because you're, you're focusing too much on, it needs to sound like this, so with End of Line, we could easily just do our own thing, and nobody was telling us like, oh, it needs to sound like this, so you could yeah. really grow as an artist. We signed Warface with Most Wanted DJ, and Most Wanted DJ is like a, a really big artist agency for, uh, for harder styles, for dance music DJs. And we had Minus Is More, we still have Minus Is More as a hard style label. And, but we thought, okay, maybe it's good and a fresh uh, idea to start something new and with Warface. Um, so that was the reason uh, we, we set up End of Line together with Warface and from there we were yeah, scouting new talents mm. to give the label a, a body. So Warface was not the only one uh, uh, at the label. And that took some, that took some time. Uh, and yeah, there who were did some, we have back in the days? Uh, Hardcraft. Yep. Uh, Cy Cypress? Cy Cypress. Yep. And uh, Kalishi and all fine artists, but not really fitting the end of line identity. We slowly involved and together with Warface, we picked the right artists. Yeah, it was a process, but um, I think for about two or three years, it's been like quite a solid label. Yeah. And once we got the team that we did now, that's when I think it all like established itself yeah. and the fans kind of saw it as a real label instead of more of an administrative thing of a place for Warface to release his music. Yeah, exactly. So it's been an interesting journey so far. Definitely. Uh, so End of Line uh, is, for me, it was just a really good uh, place for me to be. So I knew I wanted to be there at some stage and, you know, I'm really good friends with all the artists and uh, the team behind uh, the label. So it was, uh, yeah, really, really perfect for me to be a part of the team. So End of Line is very supportive and um, they supported the artists in, in many different ways. Uh, me especially just letting me do what I, what I want to do uh, creatively. I can make whatever I want and it's, and it's never a problem. And just having that artistic freedom is, is all that an artist can ask for. And yeah, I get that so much at End of Line. And, and yeah, I, I think that's exactly how a label should be because if you are going to tell to the producers how they have to make the music, yeah, it's not really gonna work, I think. Hey, is he now verschoven? All the artists are different uh, from each other. Normally you see on a label that uh, the music is um, yeah, almost pretty the same. Uh, and on the end of line it's not. So um, that's what I think end of line is special. Yeah. I think there's this genuine feeling about it and I think people really like that. And it just, it gives a nice vibe. And, and of course, you know, the music ha has its thing. It's, Everyone makes very catchy music um, that's not overly, uh, not overly complex and weird. So it's very accessible, but also experimental as well. We don't like to just make purely generic music. So um, yeah, I think it's a really perfect combination uh, and it's just a recipe for a, a popular label, I guess.
the artists get along really well and I think that's the chemistry, that's what makes End of Line uh, so strong. Yeah, we are uh, yeah, a big family. So it's now with the writers camp, we're here and uh, we're laughing and making music. So uh, yeah, the atmosphere is really, really good, yeah. We, we really support each other, so we, um, uh, we all want the best for each other. We really like each other's music. We motivate each other, we, we help each other. If someone don't know how to uh, go on with, with a new track, yeah, you like friends, you want to help your friends, of course, with anything uh, you can. We really like all oh, saying like, oh, this was a good track or, you know what I mean? This like, one was not, not maybe you could do it like this really way, but yeah, please still do your own thing. And, and, we, and, and the most beautiful thing is we, we can be really uh, honest to each, honest other. To each yeah. other and that and, and that really uh, compliments it. It's not like everyone is saying, yes, you're the greatest artist ever, but people are saying, no, this is not good. And, and we respect that and that's really, really important. And that's the same with the management as well. Uh, if we go into the, the office to, to do a meeting, it's not like uh, really, you know, it's not like something you get nervous about. It's like, oh, I'm going in, you know, to see the guys, it's great, um, you know, and we can brainstorm ideas and, you know, uh, if we've got ideas for the future and it's very positive and everyone's really excited about what the other person's doing and the plans of the other person, so it's just... It's really cool, it doesn't get old, everything's exciting, there's always something new coming up, so, um, yeah, it's great. Me and Yuri are really guys who make plans, you know, like really schedule, detailed project plan already in our head, so that works best for us. And But if you're an artist who is like more really a, a creative person, they also support you with coming up with that plan and they work more for you to to make your vision come to life. So, so they, they help you with uh, okay, did you think about this angle or how you want to put it in the market or how you want to stream it, you want to do downloads, etc, etc. Also with merchandise, they help you, you know. And that's that's really, really cool. You have a lot of inputs uh, in how you want to present your products. Do you Invading sounds, creative minds, chemistry is our foundation, energy in overdrive, we'll, we'll thrive for domination. So it's a fun, 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 fun. Yeah, Invading sounds, creative minds, energy in overdrive, Chemistry is our foundation, we'll thrive for domination! Foundation, we'll thrive for domination! Yeah, yeah the, the members of End of End of Line, we all have our strengths and um, although uh, we're not just one trick ponies, uh, there are certain things that each of us excel at more. So you have like Disturb and Artifact, they're definitely really good with melodies. Um, then you have Warface who is really um, at the same time experimental but at the same time also keeping it simple and, and understandable for the crowd and that's uh, they do that great. <laughs> yeah we have the lead that it's uh, yeah the experimental guy and the heavy kicks and yeah the weird sounds it's uh, yeah fucking great. Kill shot is the, the, <laughs> the youngster within the uh, end of line family. The latest for Kurt. I think there's no other DJ that is so energetic on stage as, as Stan. Yeah. I think that's good for a label to have like, yeah, not only one uh, type of, uh, yeah, producers within the art cell. Yeah, each, each person has their own thing and um, it's cool to, um, to, to get together in a th place like this and uh, tap in on each other's strengths and yeah, make some cool shit. At the producers camp we made a big collaboration with the whole label. So with all five artists we tried to make one track 
and we were all kind of wondering how that would work out. But uh, yeah, we're at the first day now and things are going really well. I think track is halfway done already. Yeah, it's, re it's really cool to see that um, because at first how are you going to handle like everybody wants to have their saying in the track and everyone yeah. wants to have their... But it works really well, you know, like you can give everybody their space and just add stuff or delete stuff. It was like Kuhn uh, Artifact came, hey, uh, what about this melody? It was a melody he wrote and was like, oh shit, dope. Yeah. Yorick Yor took the melody to his laptop. Yeah. He gave us a little bit of d touch on it and it, it's, yeah, it already sounded really different. Uh, yeah. Then we invited Corolla, where we worked a lot with for our album Vengeance. Yeah. And uh, I was sitting back with her when all the guys like Ryan, he was working on some real cool uh, uh, rhythms for in the mid intro or for the second uh, climax. Yeah. Ramco was working together with with Stan Killshot on the mid intro stuff, and I was working on that time together with Corolla on the lyrics. Yeah while Kuhn and Jord was working on the break. So yeah. we were all doing in it together, yeah. but on separate places in one house. We were, have, we were actually having real fun together, like making jokes, playing FIFA, but at the end of the day, there was an end product and that was so cool to see and to witness. And yeah. A fun fact, um, I think, yeah, um, Open your eyes together with Warface. We uh, we made it in just eight hours. Of course, I already had the melody, and uh, Remco and Yuri came up with the with the vocal, and it just yeah blended perfectly. Then we uh, we made some kicks. It was also really quickly done, and uh, yeah, within eight, eight hours the track was uh, was finished. That was my uh, personal record. <laughs> oh, funny memory to go. Oh, there are a lot. But um, well, last night there was a good one. There was a fake uh, a fireplace with fake wood, and uh, there was uh, a kind of uh, uh, a can to um, to make fire. And I, I was thinking, oh, it's a little bit cold in here, so I put that on the fake wood, and I put it on. Uh, and yeah, Yuri was like, "What are you doing? It's on fire!" Oh. No, and he was screaming, ah, what, what, what are we going to do? So that was really funny. And he, he got the fire extinguisher to, uh, to, uh, to blew uh, out of the fire. So uh, yeah, it was a, a funny moment, yeah. Um, I've, had, I've, had, I've, I've had a lot of good memories with the guys. Um, if I was to name one funny moment, or there was ta a time when me and Killshot played a gig in Germany and none of my USBs would work. Uh, I don't know why. I had four of them and <laughs> none of them worked. Um, it, I think it was a problem with the linking of the CDJs or something. But anyway, um, Killshot's worked, he played the set before me. So he stayed behind me the whole set. I used his USBs, but he stayed behind me because I was backstage during his set. I didn't know what he played. So every time I would put on a track, I'd ask, have you played this one? <laughs> and he was literally sitting behind me the whole time. So that was pretty funny. And then we played a back-to-back -back set at the end and just played some hardcore. It, was, it ended up being a lot of fun, but... Um, um, he kind of rescued me that night. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, at Dominator, uh, we wanted to take a group picture with the whole label on the stage, um, but with the audience as the background. So in, I think it was a set of Delete or, or Warface, one of, one of those two. Uh, and we all went on stage with our end of line shirts on and um, we posed for the group uh, picture. Uh, but the stage manager didn't really agree with it, so he, he called in support and he, he, yeah, that was, uh, was crazy. But uh, we got a really good picture with the flames in the background and it was, it was, it was good, yeah. If I look at the demos, what we receive Always. every week, it's, yeah. it's crazy. And that's also how the idea, idea started for a rookie EP, you know? Yeah. And it's really strange because I never experienced it like that, but End of Line is now a label where everybody wants to be on. And yeah, that's and, crazy. And, and that's crazy, yeah. yeah. But back, really cool. Yeah, because yeah. back in the days we were thinking we need to get to that label. And like, we need to get to that, but yeah. uh, no. Now End of Line is the label. Yeah. <laughs> um, future plans for End of Line is to just keep kicking ass, releasing yep. 
fat tunes, um, supporting the guys, uh, the guys being creative, coming up with new concepts, and you know, occasionally supporting the talent that we like as well. And um, yeah, just having a solid name for ourselves and that the fans and that like hardstyle lovers and you know other producers and stuff see this label as like you know we take we take it very seriously and we take creativity very seriously